It is the unofficial start of summer, and organizations in our area are working on plans to keep kids active and safe this year. The governor gave the okay for summer camps, but only day camps and with certain rules. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel has a look at what they will look like this year. Some of the state's guidance includes keeping kids in the same group of 10, keeping track of who kids are around, making sure that they don't have a fever, and promoting activities that encourage social distancing. Summer camp as we know it, like everything else, a little different this year. The state has said no to sleepaways and offered some extensive guidance for kids' day camps instead. We'll be doing temperature checks as well as screening for general COVID-19 symptoms with campers as well as those that they have regular contact with. Molly Mosenthal is the summer camps manager for Mazamas, which runs outdoor nature-based day camps for ages 4 to 10. They're coming up with some creative ideas to keep the little ones separated. We're using a lot of fun toys such as pool noodles, inner tubes, um, building wings such as we've seen in other countries so far. Um, a lot of fun activities for the kids to do that will result in them having a built-in personal bubble. They're also requiring masks for staff and adults. The Oregon Health Authority says children over two can wear a mask with adult supervision but they can't be required to wear one. The YMCA of Columbia Willamette is taking extra precautions like no field trips or food service, just sack lunches. We know hearing from our parents and from our families that they want something for their kids this summer. And we'll, we'll, we're gonna make sure it's a safe type of environment and safety is our number one priority. Both organizations say camp is still in high demand with hundreds of families already signed up for different sessions. I just think our families, our communities are just fatigued right now. Um, I also think there's been this, there's, there's this gap for our kids right now, not only educationally, but from a physical standpoint and, and, and a, a social standpoint. So I not, not only do I think it's worth it, I think it's necessary. They're finalizing the details now to start training staff in the coming weeks and then welcome campers mid-June. Campers can still register for those day camps this summer with YMCA and Mazama. The YMCA is actually also looking at some more educational opportunities to incorporate for kids since they've physically been out of school for months at this point, and that includes tutoring, STEM-related learning, and even some physical education and outdoor learning. In Northwest Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.